Devin Pike with the Dallas International Film Festival. And one of the great things about being involved with the festival, uh, now in its seventh year, is that you'll have directors and writers and actors returning from previous years. I had a chance to talk to our next guest back in 2000 on top of a windy rooftop, and he's here with the film Petunia in the 2013 festival. It's Ash Christian. Thanks for coming back, man. Oh, thanks for having me. It's my hometown. Well, yeah, it's your hometown, home. but I, I, we, were, we were talking before we started, and it's been a whirlwind week for you this week. Yeah, it was festival in London to New York to L.A. to Dallas, back to L.A. to it's it's I'm jet lagged. So if this interview goes really wrong, if it goes wrong, <laughs> then I'll blame it all on coffee. Blame we can it fix on it in that. post. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, we can fix everything in post. That's my philosophy. Tell us about Petunia, man. <laughs> Petunia is you know it's it's my fourth. Fourth feature, and uh, and it's sort of it's really personal. It, it started a, sort of about my first love and how sort of horrible it went uh, when I moved to New York, and it and it grew into this crazy family of of just insane, uh, in, an insane family on the Upper West Side of New York, and how they sort of intertwine in each other's lives in a really messy way. Um, but the cast is is awesome. It stars uh, Christine Lottie, Thor Birch, Brittany Snow from Pitch Perfect, Hairspray, Michael Urie, who's also a Dallasite, um, and, uh, it, and Tobias Siegel, who's an amazing sort of discovery. Um, we've had an amazing run. You know, we opened in theaters um, in May. So I'm um, so really excited to be here showing my, my friends and family, you know, and Dallas, the movie. The funny thing about Petunia is that it's, it's not the typical slice of New York and fish out of water and all the rest of that story. But it actually winds up being a more authentic story of what it's like to live in Manhattan. You know, not just warts and all because it's not just the, oh, the water doesn't work. And oh, if I <laughs> stick my foot out of my bed, I'm and in the kitchen sink. And that all happens. Of course it does. Especially my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, th th I mean, this is a really crazy family. Uh, Christine Lottie just, I, I think she, she's amazing. She, and the cool thing with her is, and I've never gotten to do this, is that she's such an actor that we, you know, we have, we had like five days of rehearsal. We like broke down the script and the scenes and like had all this backstory. And I've never really done that on a movie. So this is, it was been a, it's a learning experience, but it was amazing to, to learn how like an Oscar winning actor works. You know, it, it taught me a lot. I'll tell you that. Somebody who's worn, worn so many hats in a production, director, producer, writer. I was joking about craft services, and you said that's the one thing you refuse to do. <laughs> I but, just order. I order, you know, Dunkin' Donuts. and <laughs> <laughs> that, That's not that bad of a yeah, thing, though. So I did do crafty. Well, there you go. <laughs> Is there one role you'd like to focus on as you get further in your career? You know, I, I honestly... I'm one of those people. I, I love. I love it all. I just love making movies. So um, you know, I'm writing a new script. I'm I'm attached to direct like two other movies. I'm producing other movies. So some some I just do one thing on, and some I, if I really love them, I do everything. So. Is it a boring <laughs> thing? It's like you, if you think if you just focus on writing, you'll miss the directing chair. No, it's just that I, I I I just love every aspect. It's, I'm definitely not bored. <laughs> That's one thing I'm not. Um, yeah. Amazing cast in the film. You you, you hey. touched on earlier. Um, when you're dealing with actors, uh, with, with, you know who you know some of them work together, some of them don't. Is there a trust issue for some people who have you know done so many pieces like like Christine or Michael Yuri, where okay, I I know this person can bring because I've seen their stuff, or is it harder to get it get past the table read with some of them? You know, I think actors attract actors. Um, you know, f at first we got Thor Birch, who was you know I loved her in American Beauty and Ghost World and you know all these movies she's done, and and she came on and and she was a producer on the movie with me. And I think I think that helped to attract the other cast, you know. And, and the one person attracts the other, and it's you know it's getting actors like that. I mean, several of them were my friends. I knew Michael, Yuri, and uh, but but some of them weren't. And um, and we all just sort of, I mean, we we just all became this sort of tight knit family because we're in this. I mean, it was literally this production was shot in January in New York of like last year, two, year before. I don't even. It's been a whirlwind. I'm not sure. Um, uh, but it's just. I mean, it was a blizzard. There was like snow up to here. It was ice. Like we were all in hell. <laughs> 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 so it was. I mean, it was really a rough, rough shoot. But but it maybe maybe that's the flaw. Maybe rough shoots turn out good movies. So maybe I'll keep do, keep shooting in January. Ask Ed Harris <laughs> about the abyss, and I'll tell you about that. Um, <laughs> So you, you, you've been shopping around to festivals, uh, or not shopping around, uh, and I hate asking the question, but it's actually gotten a little bit easier with digital and everything else. Mm -hmm. um, is there a theatrical run in the works for Petunia? Yes. Uh, we, uh, we'll be in theaters in May. Excellent. And then uh, onward to VOD, DVD, all that good, good stuff. All those platforms now that you can actually 
you know, you utilize as a filmmaker and, and turn into revenue, which is exciting. Do you find that you almost wish that it could be limited to theatrical just so people would watch it on a big <laughs> screen, or would you rather just see as big of an audience as you know, they can I, get? I love seeing it in the theater with an audience. I think it's charming and, and it's enjoyable for the audience, but as long as people see the work, and, you know, people in, you know, you know ra a random small town aren't going to be able to... to to watch it, I mean, if, unless it's on, you know, Netflix or you know, or or I, iTunes and stuff like that. So I actually really find it exciting because it opens your work up to so many more people that would never get to see it otherwise. Because if it's just big cities, you know, it's very limited. You mentioned that uh, Dallas is your home. Um, you, you're, your lovely mom's over there too. And my second uh, mom. And, <laughs> but not Christine Lottie, your third mom. That's, that's that, she's um, my third mom. <laughs> what emotions do, are, you, are, are hitting you as you're coming back to the Dallas International Film Festival event? You know what's funny is I, the reason I'm a filmmaker, I would say, is because of like Michael Caine, James Faust, the, those people that started my career. I was, six, I was a 16 year old kid and they put me in my first movie. Um, and I fell in love with making movies. And I actually worked for the Deep Ellum Film Festival at the time. I was a 16 year old kid and I was like, you know, festival coordinating and, and I learned so much and I learned about indie cinema and, and my love for, for making movies and what, I, and what I do. And it's really started here. So they really sort of, you know, nature, you know, nurtured me into being, you know, into sort of what I am, you know. So it's really cool. I mean, coming back with a, a movie that I'm really proud of and uh, and them all being around to see see the, the growth is uh, is exciting. The growth physically and uh, <laughs> otherwise is really exciting. Yeah, and, and knowing how James and Sarah, Sarah Harris, the two programmers for the Dallas National, are extremely picky about the films they show. Yeah. Being able to make that cut multiple times has got to be gratifying as a filmmaker. Yeah, I mean, you know what I love? I just love being able to, I have a lot of friends and family here and I just want, I, I love to be able to show up to a theater and have them all come out and, and support it. So I'm always excited when the movie gets in to the Dallas International Film Festival. It's, um, it's coming home, so it's nice because I go, I go everywhere else where I don't really know many people and here it's like, it's family. And, and there, there, there's tacos. There's you know, the Tex-Mex is everything. I mean, it's, it's it's the best. And barbecue, and you know, that's where I'm going to spend my my day eating. Yep. And, <laughs> and then drinking. At I, night. I, I, may, I may join. <laughs> we need to find another interview. I'm hanging out with Ashley the rest of the day. <laughs> you can find more information about Petunia as well as all the rest of the films at the Dallas National Film Festival at dallasfilm.org. It is always a pleasure to have you here, Ash. Thank, thank you, you so much, much man. Yeah, I really thank appreciate you. It.